Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the famous clone tool, which is located here in the tools panel, shortcut S. You'll be familiar with it. This is going to open up some panel options up here for you. Um, if we click this down arrow, you'll want your hardness usually at zero, but you sometimes you do need it for photo correction um, to leave it at 100%, but that depends on the photo. You have your brushes panel here, which you can choose different brushes with the clone tool, which is nice. And then we have our general opacity and flow options. I usually leave these at 100%. I usually, I rarely ever mess with these options. Uh, we have a couple options here, aligned and sample. Sample is set to current layer. So let's first see what aligned is. I have my brush here. It's, pr it's a pretty big size so that you can see. And you'll see that it has a preview of some weirdness underneath. Well, how the clone tool works is you press Alt key, watch the cursor, and it's going to change and it's going to say, hey, I need you to sample something for me. So we're going to sample this image right here. Now I can take my cursor anywhere I want in the image and it's going to replace that image with what I have sampled. So if I come over here, you can see now that the beard is disappearing. And if I click again, watch what happens with the plus. You see how the plus follows the cursor? Watch again. You see how it's following the cursor? But you're probably saying, but wait a minute, I sampled that one area. I don't need to sample all over this image. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let me go Control Z. And that's where this little button comes in. If you uncheck a line and you sample here, click, press Alt, click, sample, and then go over the beard, it will always sample from that same point. Now, of course, you got to be careful because if you're always sampling from the same point, the image is going gonna, is gonna to be a dead giveaway You're using the clone tool. And most of the time when you do use a clone tool, you have to follow up with another, another tool we're going to learn about. But just wanted to let you know what the align part was. Now, if you notice that we cleared some of the beard here, right? But what if I didn't? What if I made a mistake? I can't go back because I affected the original image layer. And that's a big no-no when using the clone stamp. Big, big no-no. So let me go to File, Revert, which will bring it back to the beginning. And you choose a new layer. And if you're going to choose a new layer, I usually will name it, you know, cloning or clone or something of that sorts. And I need to change my sample to current and below so that it knows that it's going to sample from the below and put it on the current layer. That's how I kind of explain it to myself. I'm going to change my mode to lighten. Now lighten means I'm going to sample from his cheek, right? We'll sample a little bit higher. And it's going to say, hey, um, I'm going to clone anything that... Um, darker than the area that I sample from because that's what lighten mode lighten mode does. Lighten says, okay, I'm gonna lighten any anything that's darker than where I sampled. It kinda gets confusing to say this sometimes. And as you can see here, we can start to take away some of his beard. Let me sample in here. There we go. But as you can see here it's a little tricky sometimes and you follow it along. There we go. And you can take take some of the beard away. So that's a, kind of a quick way of doing it. And you'll follow it up easily with another tool which you can hide some of your your effects. Now in the next lesson we're going to talk about the spot and the healing brush.